行事は岸森伊之助であります。After our one-day coverage break, the title race stays pretty much as was, but his preserved lead came at a cost. The loss to the tournament of Takayasu, now out with a torn glute after that dismissive shove from the dokyo. Today's foe, Tamawashi, is never out and picks up the win. Default, confirming Takayasu's losing score and the loss of Komusubi. Tortured bodies in dokyo situations can crack at any time. Examples Dewa Taikai pulls off a routine swing down, yet feels a nasty pain in his inner elbow, which did seem to awkwardly twist. 230 kilo Komano Kuni moves from quiet defeat to a near ligament snap with that sudden stumble. Russian roulette, anyone? On the other hand, there are those who feel their injury only too well, but plough on, rain, shine or hail. Even a government edict couldn't stop Koto Ozutsu from pushing that shoulder to the max. But even seemingly iron shoulders have their limits, as does one-armed sumo. Boatwala Shohoryu finally throwing in his September towel after 11 days delay. How you land, of course, makes all the difference. Shimazu Umi has fallen this way a thousand times, no doubt. But today, slightly harder on his chest and on the rope. Worse, as the third from last winner of the session must stay on to balance out ringside numbers, a good luck duty ends up delaying his doctor's check. The spate of higher level absences has made both the first and second tier schedules three bouts lighter. But don't despair, we still have the excitement of Midori Fuji vs. Oho, who were two divisions apart just this March. And a smart shift of weight and power gave Midori a vital fourth win from his past five. In the title race at this level, Abi maintained frontrunner status with a typical win against Churano Umi, who is not quite safe. More importantly, Abi took a giant step closer to his true level, Division 1. And he may well be joined there this November by Shaw Horzan five months shy of 38, who reached eight wins after another long bout. My concussed Takakento, meanwhile, remains in demotion danger. The final Division 2 bout today was to decide whether Nishiki Fuji, in by far his best fortnight ever, would join Abi in first place, or opponent Akua in second. We have a two-man lead. They confused him with Nishikigi in today's entering ceremony. Surely not tomorrow. In Division 1, Takakesho is safe at Ozeki, having gone an unbelievable 8-1 since that nightmare start, which is better form than when he's fully fit. He's a good clean fighter, but I still think some opponents let him off. Meanwhile, fellow Ozeki Shodai, who's already safe, needed three tries just to start against Ichinojo and was punished on the third by a giant who may yet win eight. <laughs> the 
Lower down, Chionokuni mounted for his last realistic shot at chasing the title and found a pumped ex Ozeki in his way. Sheer fear of life in Division 2 brought out of Tochinoshin a response so heroic that he got an admiring smile. The most intense bout I've had in ages makes me think I've still got it, the Georgian puffed. Just five minutes later was it second placed Miyogidiu's turn to keep in pursuit against tall pusher Kagayaki. But that was his second loss from four, and burnout might have come. I just kept my legs moving and applied constant pressure. That's what makes me difficult to live with, Kagayaki explained. Okinomi and Endo then caught the chiseled one with their wins. Before these two third places played off for a share of second. And it was Onosho who got it. A good forward attack from me, but there are no title thoughts, was his cliché today. Mitake Umi's label of Ozeki candidate was smudged after just 10 hours. So, in the finale, was Meisei to give all these dust-ups I've just shown you added meaning? Was Pundit Wakanohana right to say that Teranofuji would tire at this stage? That his armpit defences would weaken? Yes, yes, and yes. I just looked to panic him even just a little, Meisei said. Our past meetings meant nothing. I was just in the zone. That was indeed his first win over Teranofuji in seven tries. And a most dramatic way to stave demotion off, for a day at least. I have no comment from the defeated Yokozuna, but I do have one from an ex-Yokozuna. Sumo chairman Hakkaku, who said, Meisei's fine tachiai was key. He pushed his way through, slashed his way inside, and threw with a nice flow. So then, for the second time this week, is Tedu's lead cut to one? Yesterday's gain has been wiped. There you have tomorrow's key fixtures. We'll also have lots of lower division title action. Looking forward to sharing with you.